Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Shay here, aka Mojo Water Guys. Coming to you guys with a one package. Submitted to PSA. They've been really delayed. If any of you guys are submitting to PSA, we did submit a graded portion and a signed card portion that you can get slabbed or you can get graded. And this is just going to be the signed cards. And to all the people that submitted, um, everybody should have gotten their signed card slabs back. In terms of graded, PSA is really uh, delayed and we just contacted them. We're trying to get an update. They're backed up a lot because during quarantine a lot of people sent their stuff in so anyway let's get into this anyway here we go and i will switch the camera angle out so, so here we go we got one box oh second box and then third box so which one should we open first? Let's find out. All right, we're gonna start it off. Here we go. Let's get in this first one. Should we have the slabs right here? Cousin photo bombing. <laughs> there she is. All right, so here we go. We got Tom Glavitt on the back. And then here's 20 of them. And we'll just break all these up and then go into it. So here's another 20. They're shipped very good. I like these boxes. Okay, so we got 20, 40 right there. And then the last one, this one has 14 in it. So there we go. Look at that, Jeremy Roenick on the front. And then we'll go through these. So we'll start it off with a stack of 14. This is the 14 card stack. We got Jeremy Roenick right there. If you don't know PSA, what they do is you can send in signed cards and you can get them, this is what they call a slab. Um, we don't actually put the information on. You have to pay more for that. I think it's like five to seven, maybe $10 more. It depends what's going on. With all the PSA delays, the fastest, most efficient way to get these back was to just put trading card up there. They get the name PSA DNA certified with the scanner. And then obviously like all the coding right there with the authentic auto. And then on the back, they have the same thing. Like what PSA does is they serial number all these and then you can just scan it in. So this is a 1990 score Jeremy Roenick rookie card. So that's pretty cool. These are from Lake Tahoe from a couple years ago. Um, right here, Jeremy Roenick. So these are all Jeremy Roenick. I, I forgot about all these. I forgot I had some of these because I haven't seen them in a while, but Jeremy Roenick, literally all of them. So. That was pretty cool. He hit all these at once at Tahoe for me. So there we go, Jeremy Roenick. So these are pretty cool, Chicago Blackhawks. He was amazing. He's a nice guy too. Um, next, we got Devontae Graham for the Charlotte Hornets with the NBA bubble coming up. So PSA DNA Prism, uh, 1819, these are nice. I have actually a bunch of unsigned ones and then a couple signed ones, so Devontae Graham. Then another uh, Devontae Graham. These are part of the <laughs> signed multiples I was talking about. I didn't even realize it was the next card. So pretty cool right there. He's up and coming for sure. And then Devontae Graham, number three. Sign in blue. Prism. And then this is like one of the better players. He was an all-star last year. I got this guy. Every time I would go for this guy, uh, I was like, dang, he's going to be so good. And he ended up making the all-star team last year. Bam out of Bayou. And you're gonna see a bunch of these. This is actually a Crown Royale. It's a really sick rookie card right there. These are like, I always like Panini's like die cut looking cards and it's cool how it fits in the slab. It doesn't shake around. So that's pretty lucky right there. And that's like a beautiful looking graph from Bam. And I'll show you some of the rookie graphs as well. This is like last year's graph right here, Bam out of Bayou. So you can see, look at the difference in his autograph after one year. He's probably signed so many jerseys and photos and ba basketballs this year compared to when he first was going. People would go for Bam because you go for a rookie, but when a player blows up like this, like for an all-star breakout, it starts to get crazy. So that's pretty cool. Then these are sick. Uh, speaking of Miami Heat, Tyler Harrow. Really like this guy a lot. He's so chill. This is a college Kentucky prism. This is actually cool because I love Kentucky. So it's a silver prism. I got that sign. And then my favorite card right here, from the uh, 14 card stack, Tyler Harrow, uh, rookie card hoops. And that's a just tops, or that's a tops. Oh my gosh, that's a Panini rookie card. So that's pretty cool, Tyler Harrow. And then let's get into the 20 card stack. We'll do this one right here. I don't know what's gonna come out of this stuff. I'm, I don't know if the Luke, the, I have Lucas in here and they might be right now or they might be in the middle, but 
it's all good. We'll just do it like in order. Sean Elliott, uh, rookie card. This is a Fleer 90. Pretty cool card right there, Sean Elliott. He's an announcer for the Spurs now. Then this is a Bam on a Bayou from his rookie year. Actually, I think I think this uh, the other one was his rookie year, but still, it's still more to the graph right there. Bam on a Bayou. Like I said, I submitted a lot of Bam. He had a breakout season, man. So Bam right there. He's going to be good. Another up-and-coming big man right here, Jaron Jackson Jr. for the Memphis Grizzlies. Rated rookie. These are all my signed cards from the last two NBA seasons, so this is pretty cool. Jaron Jackson in silver. Uh, another Jaron Jackson. This is the Prism. I, I'm going to look back, and these Prism 1819, I busted a lot of this product, but Luca is in this product. These boxes and packs are very expensive right now, and I have a ton of these loose rookies. I probably have 10 or 15 Jaron Jacksons alone that I was buying for like $2 a pop at card shows, so... To get them actually signed is uh, pretty cool with all this stuff going on. I don't know how much signing is going to be happening anymore. Especially, there's going to be no autographs in the bubble. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Obviously, you guys know that. But just putting it out there. Wendell Carter Jr. It's the first time I had gotten him last year. This is like one of the last teams I graphed. Wendell Carter Jr. again. Uh, this is pretty cool. Serge Ibaka on a Prism Raptors card. Uh, pretty cool because he won his NBA. He won the NBA Finals with the Raptors, so I thought this was a really nice card. Um, next, this guy was. I think he he did so well last year, and I think he's gonna have another good year. Uh, pitcher for the Atlanta Braves, Mike Soroka. Soroka. So Bowman Chrome 17 right there, and then we got another Bowman Chrome. This is a beautiful looking graph on that one. A little streaky on some of these, but Soroka still pretty cool. So hopefully he has a good year because there's like four of those. So that's pretty awesome. And then we got Miles Bridges who does not sign. Uh, he is like an upper deck, upper deck only type guy. He does sign jerseys and stuff. But from what I heard around the NBA, this guy's pretty tough. So uh, these are pretty cool to get uh, off, uh, PSA slab. You know, because if he's upper deck only, I mean, usually LeBron and LeBron doesn't really sign, but Ben Simmons and Bla like, I don't know. I don't think. He, they would sign these, they would want them to sign these Panini cards. So it's very interesting. Uh, Miles Bridges, Panini Prism. So still think he's gonna be good. I like him still, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I could be wrong. Um, next, one of uh, one of the players that always torches my favorite team, the Kings, CJ McCollum signed rookie card. This is pretty sick. It's from last year, CJ McCollum. I've always liked him. I've met him since his rookie year. Next, this one's pretty sick. This is a Dwight Howard rookie card, Topps Chrome 0405. I've had this card since I was a kid, and I actually ended up getting this signed when Dwight Howard was on the Charlotte Hornets. So I actually have had this card for a long time. It's got a little wear right there. Um, you know, when I'm a kid, I don't, I didn't really know anything about cards. I would have like three or four basketball cards, if that, and just put them like on, like put them on my desk, just showing up. Like I wasn't a card collector, but. I think, I think through times there was always cards around me and I would just keep some of the cooler ones. And this is one of the ones I kept. It was cool to get it signed. Next, one of the last teams I also graphed, DeJounte Murray, Spurs, Prism Rookie. This is a sick card. I love this guy. He is like the definition of like a triple-double, a walking triple-double if he can get it going. Stays healthy, DeJounte Murray. I love watching him. Um, next, this guy, hopefully he gets playing time, Michael Porter Jr., Right there, Prism. Lots of Prism, man. You can't go wrong with Prism. If if you people say Prism is, you know, oh, people just buy Prism to sell it. Well, you know what? Uh, that's true, but you should get these signed, man. These are, I highly recommend getting just rookie Prism signed. It's just, you look back and you see a box, how much it costs now, or a pack, and you're just like, whoa, why didn't I get more of those, you know? So Lonnie Walker, pretty cool right there. All right, this is the last stack. Talk about saving the best for last. I had no idea. I haven't I haven't peaked at all in this one. So, Pau Gasol, uh, 09 10 upper deck. I love Pau, watching Pau Gasol, even though I'm a Kings fan. Uh, Pau Gasol was amazing. Watching him and Kobe together and that Lakers team, man. It's a sick product, too, this 09 10 upper deck. One of my favorite products. Same card, Pau Gasol, can't go wrong. Another Pau Gasol, this is the Lakers season update. Uh, 10-11. Pau Gasol is a great player, man. I always liked him. Always a nice guy, too. Next, got a Reggie Bush score rookie card right here for the uh, New Orleans Saints. It's a score rookie, so that's pretty cool, Reggie Bush. Good to see him get that USC stuff back. 
Next, we got Bam out of Bayou. This is actually the rookie graph I was talking about, I was looking for, so Bam right there. Next, one of my favorite up and coming point guards in the league. I'm telling you, this guy's the real deal. Um, Shea Gilgis Alexander from Kentucky, Panini Prism. <laughs> they put Shy G A. That's funny. Uh, Gilgis Alexander is going to be a promising future for this guy. I have like 20 or 30 Prism just rookies of this guy just sitting around. So that's awesome. And then got this one right here Shea Gilgis Alexander right there. So I'm going to keep these. He's going to be pretty awesome so that's awesome and then next the big three i'll save these three best for last make you guys wait uh next we got a reggie bush fight on this is pretty cool from usc got this at tahoe uh <laughs> more jeremy ronick's <laughs> right here jeremy ronick uh i got some other hockey actually mike madonna i figured i'd slap these um Mike Madonna signed rookie card, 1990 score. These are awesome. I have a bunch of these unsigned for the next couple of years. Mike Madonna. Mike Madonna tops North Stars. This is actually, I think, I don't know if it's a rookie. 1990 tops. Mike Madonna. He was a great player. He's a nice, nice guy. Hockey players are amazing, man. They're good. They're good signers. Mike Madonna, OPG. Um, not a big hockey guy. This is a 91, actually. So, Mike Madonna. Then we got this. This is like a upper deck. Just I think this is 07. What is it? 04. Damn, I was off. Mike Madonna, world's best. Dallas Stars. Next, we got Pau Gasol. This is a thicker, thicker holder for this. But Pau Gasol signed card. This is so cool. Look at this. It's a die cut like jersey card. And this is uh, 2010. Wow, it's 10 years ago. Panini. So that's pretty cool. And then we got Jerome Bettis, uh, Fleer 86, signed card right there in black Sharpie. Jerome Bettis, pretty cool. And then next we got Tom Glavin. This is a upper deck, 94 upper deck, just Tom Glavin, just a like base collector's upper deck signed card. And then my favorite cards from the submission, the last three, we got Luka Doncic, rated rookie. This is my uh, signed card right here, Luka Doncic. Pretty cool from last year. And then we got this one. This is my buddy Justin. He gave me this to submit. Got a silver signed Luka Doncic. So right there, Justin, there you go. Pretty cool and silver, Luka. And then the, my favorite card from the whole thing, my, my own Luka Doncic signed rookie card, Prism right there. It's got the Lulu graph on it. Luka Doncic, Dallas Mavericks. This card is amazing. Um, to be honest with you guys, like I thought the condition might have been a 10, but you know, I look back on this, a lot of people are like, well, why don't you double cert it? And I just, that corner right there bothers the crap out of me. And another thing about it, if you ever wanted to know about centering, you gotta watch the logo, the rookie card, and you really gotta watch the how the centering looks on each side. I couldn't tell you right now if this is a 10 based on all that, but right here on this corner, I you have to the thing you have to think about when with these signed cards, you gotta think, how was I transporting this, getting this guy at, you know, late at night for a graph? You know, that's what you gotta think. And I, and it was uh, when I got that ball signed in, uh, after the dinner thing. So, Luka Doncic signed rookie card right there. Pretty cool. And that is the submission. Total of 54 cards for me. I'm very happy with all these. There's some cards I really wish I did submit, um, but I didn't make them on the cut. Next time I will. And, uh, you know, with all this stuff going on, I, I'm glad to have these back, actually, because these are fresh. A lot of these are from this past NBA season, and um, it's cool to have them, man. Perfect timing because the NBA bubble is going to start. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys who, to everybody who submitted. And the graded cards, those should be coming in. That's going to be insane when the graded cards come back. I'm going to be very, I'm very anxious to see what's in that. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.